done. 50 seconds still left on the clock. Oh, wow. Wow. Ba 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 Guys, I'm back at the Underdog Catering Company. So excited. Today is Saturday. On Wednesday of this week, I became the first person to ever beat this challenge. I did it in four minutes and 10 seconds. I was already kind of planning to come back and see how fast I could do it if I went all out. And today's the day. Let's go inside. Let's see what it's about. And I'm excited to be back. I'm glad to get a second shot at this challenge so I can see how quickly I can actually eat this food. You notice I'm at a table right now, and that's going to be key to my success. I'm trying to eat these five four-ounce hot dogs that are just loaded, a bowl of chili, french fries, and an entire large lemonade. In less than, not the five minutes of the challenge, but three minutes time, I set myself. So today's goal, I changed all my times. When I tried to break five minutes, I was doing 30 seconds of hot dog, 30 seconds for chili, two minutes for the fries, which actually fries are very slow and hard to eat, so that's why it's so long for the fries. There's a lot here. Today, though, I'm trying to get to the three minutes so I'm down to 20 seconds of hot dog, 20 seconds for chili, and one minute for the fries. Now that's a lot quicker. Back at my favorite hot dog place. I've only been coming here for three or four days now, but it is absolutely the best hot dogs around. Definitely the best in Pottstown. Here at the Underdog Catering Company, I'm trying to get the challenge once again. I was the first person to break the challenge. Did it in four minutes and 10 seconds. My buddy Sean came back the next day and did it in 348. So we're gonna give it a try. I don't know what I can do, but we'll find out soon. Three, two, one, go. And we're off. I'm gonna keep a running total on the screen. The first number is gonna be plus or minus. If it's green, that means I'm ahead of pace. And then the right side means how far ahead I'm at overall. So the first hot dog went really quick. It was 14 seconds ahead of my goal. So off to a good start. I got the second one down, not quite as quick, but I'm still way ahead of pace now, 22 seconds ahead of where I thought I should be. So looking good. I had to admit, I was nervous with that pizza dog because I was afraid of the pepperoni falling all over the place, but I'm really pleased being able to eat that in 15 seconds. But now I'm on to these Rubens and I just feel they're gonna be a problem because there's a large pickle slice in there and I have some issues getting that down. I end up losing four seconds on this hot dog. I was fortunate enough to build up a comfortable cushion so that four seconds didn't hurt me that bad. I was hoping to make up time on the next Reuben. I thought for sure I could eat that in 20 seconds because I had the experience of just having eaten a different one. But unfortunately, a pickle slice really does something to me. It slowed me down a lot and I end up losing another four seconds on this hot dog. So I'm gonna have to really work through this chili and the fries. I started in on the French fries, thinking I could get a couple mouthfuls in there and then scoop some chili in afterwards and kind of use the chili to wash down the French fries. I don't know if that did anything, but that was the concept of doing it. Um, who knows? I do know though, when I finally got to the chili, it was gonna be really quick. They did have a couple of lumps in there of meat which slowed down a little bit, but pretty much I flew right through the chili and I end up uh, gaining six seconds on the chili. So I was very happy with that. At this point, I had well over a minute to finish these French fries and then I reached my goal of breaking the three minute barrier. Now I know fries are really deceptive. It doesn't look like a lot of food there, but they are somewhat of a pain to work with because I was just constantly dropping them. They were smaller length fries. They weren't like really super long, which are my preference, because then you get less fries and they're easier to work with. The fries tasted good though, so that made it easier. But can I get these things down? Let's watch and see. They were some good hot dogs. 
was excited to try the, the strami hot dog, which I did have last time. The waffle hot dog. So good, so delicious. You guys have to try them. Please come out and give them a try. I will uh, add on the, my last attempt that I did, and we'll talk over what I did different. So stay tuned after this. I'll compare what went right this time and as far as the even faster versus what I did last time. So thanks for coming to another video. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for coming to the second video of this two video series. In this series, I attempted to answer a question I get all the time. How fast can I actually eat in these videos? Am I actually eating my fa as fast as possible? Well, in the first video, I wasn't eating as fast as possible. I was just trying to win the challenge. I had five minutes to do it. I ab was able to do it in four minutes and 10 seconds, well under. But I also enjoyed myself. I got five different var varieties of hot dogs. All of them were slow to eat because they had tons of toppings and I sat down to eat. Whenever I sit down in a video, you know that I'm not eating as fast as possible. I'm so much faster standing up. My stomach's not compressed. Basically, when I stand up, mentally I feel like I'm throwing a piece of trash in a dumpster. It just right in and it could, you know, it doesn't even dent my capacity. At least that's how I feel. Now I have had success sitting down, of course. Of course, I won the challenge. I, almost every video I film, I'm sitting down. I have set the uh, Domino's record for the fastest pizza, anyone fastest pizza anyone's ever eaten at Domino's, and I did that sitting down. Now I know I could refilm that video standing up and probably do it even faster, even though it's years later. The other thing I did in this video is I used different hot dogs. I went with fast hot dogs. Of course, the waffle dog is the fastest. There's very little toppings on that, just some syrup. So that's going to be the quickest. I went with the pizza dog from the last time. I also went with the Reuben, which I saw Sean eat in his challenge. And that looked good. But I, I liked how it was encased in his video, or his challenge. I'll show you here what his looked like. Mine looked different. It had the same contents, but mine had toppings on the top. That fell off when I was eating. Made it a little bit slower than I thought it was going to be. So if I had to do this video all, all over again, I honestly think I could do it even faster. Nobody. I don't, I mean, honestly, I think if I did it right now, I could do it faster. Because I, I might not go with that pastrami dog, and that pickle really slows you down. That pickle leads me into the next thing is, people ask me, what did I name my signature hot dog? Which I didn't do after the first video, because I knew I was coming back. I went with a hot dog. It's chili, mac and cheese, Doritos, and, of course, a slice of pickle. Why did I do this first? Because I think it tastes good. But second, it makes for a slow hot dog. And the great part about this challenge is whoever has the existing record gets to name a hot dog, of course, the Notorious B.O.B. in this case. And then every, all future contestants have to eat at least one of those hot dogs. Now, the most you can do is two of any hot dog. And, and in this case, you could have to you do at least one B.O.B. or two B.O.B.s. Now, if somebody breaks the five minutes, they would get it for free. If they break my record, they get to name a hot dog, and then that becomes a part of all the future challenges. Now, typically, I won't film in a place twice. Uh, just because I've already filmed there, I know I can do it, of course, and the restaurant knows I can do it. But this restaurant has a rule where if you film once, or go once, and break the five minutes, you get it for free. If you attempt it a second time after winning, you have to beat the existing record. So the existing record when I filmed on Saturday was 348. I had to go under 348 to do it. So that's the rules for this challenge. It is a great challenge, a great company. I'm looking forward to going back. I'm going to try to do <coughs> an entire menu of them, like get one of every one of their, whatever they sell in the store, one of everything, and try to eat it all. So I have to try all the hot dogs. I'll probably film that at some point in the future. I think that will be an interesting video. But if you're in the area, give them a try. And thanks for coming to this video and being patient with the world's longest outro. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested in me doing another series like this or um, just interested in knowing more what goes on behind the scenes, my preparation for videos, or what I think during the video. Um, as you know, I love making these videos. I love to eat. I don't think there's any doubt out there people know I'm all about food. So 
I love filming them, but I do like adapting the videos to what the audience is interested in seeing. Regardless, thanks for coming to another video, and I'll see you guys again soon. <laughs>